Oh my gosh. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Ah, good day everyone and welcome to today's video where we're gonna be making another rainbow DIY that you can eat. That's right, uh, we're gonna be making rainbow bagels, which seem to be a huge thing going on in New York. I guess there's a store that has these, but if you don't live in New York, that's where I come in handy. Um, well, we don't know about that yet. Oh, Storm wants to say hello, everybody. He says, I want a rainbow bagel too. Yeah, give me a bit. Uh, licks my eyeball. Okay, I'm gonna put you down. So yeah, I've never done this before. I don't know if it's actually gonna work out, so that's why. I'm recording it to see what happens. Uh, so basically what you're gonna need is some sprinkles, an assortment of them that will give you that rainbow look. This is for uh, the cream cheese that you're gonna have. I'm using a vegan cream cheese, which is uh, yummy, uh, some food coloring, but I think it has to be like the gel food coloring. I don't know. Uh, and then you just need some pizzas. Oh my God, this is like ready to explode. Uh, Gluten-free vegan pizza dough. I guess you can use regular ingredients that are non-vegan and non-gluten-free. Um, that's just my preference for this. Um, but yeah, let's get on with the video. Okay, so we're going to pop, pop our pusses um, by breaking this and uh, splitting up it into five equal parts for the different colors. Woo! Oh, it smells good. It smells dough-like. Okay, that's how you open the dough. I'm gonna see if it's sticky, and if it is, oh. Wow, it's so light and fluffy. Okay, so it is a bit sticky, so I'm gonna pour a little bit of flour. What flour is this? Whole grain oat flour. Okay, I'm just gonna sprinkle it on over here. Oh, that might be a lot. Um, this is just to make it not so sticky. So I guess let's break this in half, and then we'll break the half in half, and that'll give us four, and then damn, how do I get a fifth out of this? Math doesn't work. I guess I can take a little piece of each. Okay, so we have five equal balls. That's five, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. And then we add the food coloring to it. Uh, let's start with orange. We'll go in the order of the Oh, this one's fell off. Oh. oh, I also want to put gloves on before this because it will stain your hands. This is intense food coloring. I'm honestly really hoping that this works because it sounds like a really cool idea. I've never made a bagel before in my life. I had the option to either bake it from scratch or start with dough, and I figured starting with dough would make it a lot easier. Uh, I'm just gonna add a little bit of orange to this one. We can add more if we need to. Let's set these off to the side so I have some room to knead it. Oh, look it. It kind of looks like a little jelly filled donut. Mm. Wow, it's turning orangina. Just go like this for a bit. See what happens. Okay, so I think I finished with the orange. Let's move on to our next color, which, what is our next color? Yellow? <gasps> Oh, that's why I was confused, because I saw two in the yellow dye, like Miranda has called out before, looks orange. Doesn't that look orange? That looks orange to me. That's so weird. It looks totally... Why does it do that? Why does it look orange? But it's not. Tappity tap tap, right? The yellow definitely was a lot faster and easier to turn yellow than the orange was. <gasps> I just thought of something. Since this is pizza dough, I could make a rainbow pizza if I really wanted to. So if you do want that rainbow pizza, give this video a thumbs up. And if I get it to 50,000 likes, I will do the rainbow pizza. Oh my God, this looks like Play-Doh. All right, so here is the yellow. Yellow is done, put it right there. Moving on to the next color. I'm gonna wash these gloves off first. Okay, up next is green, which is my favorite color. Shoot, I'm actually really surprised at how well this is turning out. I don't know if it's gonna stay like this, but Hopefully it does. I'm just gonna, just dunking it in. That's fine. Oh wow, it's vibrant. This is gonna be the coolest thing. Oh, okay, green is done. This is some tough work, let me tell you. And then next will be blue. And it's just the same thing over and over again. So I guess I'll just see you once the blue's done. Okay, blue is done. 
Moving on. I'm starting to feel like I should have created more because I wanted pink and purple, but all I have is one dough left. All right, so I'm back and I created a purple and a pink one. I just skipped through it because it just, it, this takes a while and it takes muscle. Um, but now I have a whole platter of gorgeous Play-Doh. And now you guys can just play with it and make shapes. Just kidding, it's food, not something you play with. Um, it's, I'm so hungry, I'm so excited for this. Uh, so the next step, I'm going to take the camera and just do a close up, but I'm essentially just gonna put them on top of each other, flatten them out like pancakes and layer them on top of each other. And then, uh, yeah, you guys shall see. Okay, so I have flattened them all into a gorgeous shaped like pancake cookie type thing. Honestly, this looks good enough to eat, uh, but I do want to bake it into a bagel because it would be gorgeous. Um, so next step is to take our trusty dusty beef up with nasty knife. Now you don't have to use one this big, you could just use a regular knife. I just like it because it looks scary. Okay, so we're going to cut it in half. Oh, I can't wait to see what it looks like on the inside. Oh. Oh my gosh, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. That is literally everything and more. I need a close up on this camera. You need to see what I'm seeing. So I guess you're seeing a close up over there already. Oh, that looks. Okay, all right. So then we have to cut it into another strip. Um, so we'll take our half and then cut that down into probably half, I think. Oh, I've never baked anything like this before. It makes me feel so good. Okay, so then, I don't know what's next. I think I have to roll it up in like a snake, which is fine. I just don't want to ruin anything, you know? Oh, okay, it's rounded out. Now for the fun part of twisting it, um, which I think you just twist. Oh! Oh, oh my gosh, a rainbow is coming to life. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's, it's kind of falling apart, so be careful. All right, and then you just bend them in together. This is a small bagel. Honestly, I don't think it was supposed to be this small. Bagel attempt number one, she's cute. Okay. She's, a, she's a cutie one. All right, we'll put that there. Let's try it again. I, I'm gonna try using the whole thing this time. Oh, oh my gosh, cute. Okay, so I have the rainbow snake. Now I'm just gonna start twisting it. All right, we have our second bagel, which is interesting. She's cute. So here's our first and second. The mommy and the baby. Oh, it's cute. And we have baby and mama. Mama, mama. I think that's in focus, it's probably not though. There we go, there's a cute focus. Do you see it over here, Sire? Oh, wonderful. Um, okay, and the next step apparently is you need to boil it for 20 seconds. I don't know what it does, but we're gonna do it anyways. So let's head on over to the stove. All right, so we have three bagels made and the boiling water, which I'm gonna pop one of these in for 20 seconds. We'll start with the little baby one. Go on in there, little baby. Oh, look at her, she's swimming. How are you doing in there? Can you breathe? Huh? Oh! She's coming up for air. Okay, so tongs are probably not the best idea because they are still uncooked, so they take the shape of what you squeeze them with. So, um, use a spatula and just scoop it on out. Okay, now we're gonna scoop them onto a little tray. I ran out of parchment paper, but I just greased it up with some coconut oil. Um, but you wanna put it in the oven uh, for about 25 minutes on 375. Gorgeous! You girls ready to go in for a little sauna treatment? All right, enjoy the sauna, ladies. See you in a few. Okay, so the bagels are done and they're cooked and I'm so impressed with myself and my baking skills because these are freaking amazing. Here, I'll do like a bit of a close up here as much as I can. 
Wow, it matches my shirt. Cool. Um, okay, so the next step is to cut it in half like you normally would with a bagel to add the cream cheese and uh, the sprinkles on. So let's get down to business. I'm so excited to see what the inside looks like. <gasps> okay, it's cut. And now for the moment of truth. Whoa. <gasps> Guys, I am so impressed with myself. Like, I can't even. Whoa, and it's steaming. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, oh, I'm so mad that I'm covering up this rainbow goodness. Okay, so next I'm gonna just sprinkle on some sprinkles. This looks like a dessert, not a like breakfast potential item. Okay, so we're cream cheesified up and now I'm just gonna Dab it into this plate of sprinkles and just spin it around to make it look cute for like a picture. Oh, uh oh, this is bad. This is bad news. Oh my god, are you seeing this? Okay, so this is a gorgeous close up of my magical, miracle, rainbow thing. Big. All right, guys, so since I am done, I can now take a bite of my creation. I'm excited. Let's see it. Taste test. Oh. Oh my god. It's really freaking good. And I don't know what it is, if it's the rainbows or if it's the sprinkles, but it's really yummy. I'm gonna get such a sugar high off of this. Maybe a little too many sprinkles, but it's so good. I mean, it looks so when you eat it. All right, well, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. And perhaps I will make a rainbow style pizza. Uh, so that's all for today. I love you guys. I will see you all next time. Good and bye. I'm going to be talking about the time that I was almost murdered um so this could <laughs> oh gosh this is my last chance literal last chance because guess what baby it's coming all right ow no it put me down oh i'm screwed